okay guys uh, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the problem of choice and the production possibility curve okay in the previous video we talked about uh, the scarcity and the meaning of choices so now we will discuss about the problems of the choices that we make and we will discuss more about production possibility curve that's commonly in the subject is called PPC actually it's uh, we'll talk about more that later and just heading on uh, let's discuss the problem of choice okay problem of choice is an economic problem okay uh, if there is a conflict between means and ends uh, including conflict between individual goals which gives rise to an economic problem okay this economic problem of of problem of choice arise due to conflict between means and ends okay that you have to remember and in such situation the problem arises as to how the best how to use the best resources to achieve the ends okay uh, the central problem that the central problem uh, of the problem of choice uh, differs no, it expands from individual throughout the society from individuals and for the whole society um, this arises due to the allocation of skills means among competing ends okay we have to allocate uh, the means which are scarce to uh, different ends uh, ends means an individual or a society or a section of society or an institution or anything we have to allocate that uh, scarce means to something uh, that's the central problem okay uh, this is where the PPC comes in. Product that PPC means production possibility curve. Actually, production possibility curve solves three main central problems of the economy that we will talk about later. And we can all be clear of the fact that if there is, uh, if the resources are abundant, uh, the resources are plenty. There is there is plenty full of resources. Uh, when there will be no problems no central problems in the economy but that can be possible right so scarcity in effect can be said as global and as well as local okay uh, in uh, economically backward countries like uh, Ethiopia Somalia Bolivia but there is, uh, even India India which is developing now and the resources very very scarce and the allocation of resources becomes very difficult and you have to put forward a very efficient methods to manage that kind of scarce resources but they are not doing so well so apart from that on the other end uh, countries like usa germany and japan they're very economically developed countries and the resources are there are plenty so they don't have a lot of problem uh, like the countries uh, like the backward countries that face on day to day basis even if that's the case even if the resources are plenty the allocation of resources uh, have to be specific uh, in, in order in order to uh, balance the economy that where the problem of choice comes in and the ppc go have the value of how to set up the economy if you don't get what I mean uh, you'll talk about that later okay now we have covered that and now we'll go get into production possibility curve what the production possibility curve actually is is the various combination it's the various combination of two products so to plot a graph you need an x-axis and abscess and an old name right x-axis and y-axis now on the both axis what we do in the production possibility curve is that on the both axis we plot different products means different products uh, a firm an institution or country can produce okay and by using technically efficient methods okay so we plot different products on x-axis and y-axis 
then we find a suitable point at which a specific suitable efficient point at which the both products can be produced efficiently in order to manage the form uh, that means is that uh, if um, if a country like india it is a developing country right so th there can be two types of goods capital goods and consumer goods a developing country like india obviously don't have that much capital in them so what do they have to do to increase their capital they have to produce more capital goods so in production possibility curve i will explain it to you later uh, be, con be patient okay uh, in the production possibility curve uh, if you plot in regard of india the capital goods will be more and consumer goods will be obviously less okay in effect we plot two products on x, x and y axis right so that's why it's it's a transformative curve why it is called a transformative curve we'll talk about later okay it shows what production possibility curve shows is that one good how one good can be transformed to another okay not physically it does not convert the product physically to another product it shows how to transform one good from another by shifting the resources to produce them okay by shifting the labor hours uh, by shifting the raw materials and everything how we can transform one product to another that's why it is called transformation curve okay it can solve as we already said it can solve central problems of the economy and as i've told you there are three central problems and the first central problem is what goods are to be produced by the economy so the first central problems of the problem of the economy is what goods are to be produced by the economy this is a typical example of the production possibility curve as i've told you there is x axis and y axis now here is x1 and x2 Let's, let's assume x1 is a one commodity and x2 is another commodity so as i told you there we find a suitable specific efficient point at which the production can be distributed in this scenario p is the point and thus om quantity this is a om quantity of x1 is produced om quantity of x1 is produced and what's here in y axis o, o n quantity of x2 is produced that's how, that's why that's what this production possibility curve in this example shows that's what i was doing here o n quantity of x2 goods and o, uh, o m quantity of x1 goods are produced now as i have told you earlier different countries different firms have to choose between their tactics uh, their capabilities within their capabilities they have to choose a plan in order to produce some goods right I suppose x1 is consumer goods okay suppose x1 is consumer goods and x2 is capital goods so consumer goods are mainly produced by developed countries and capital goods are mainly produced by developing countries like india so as you can see in case of japan there is a production possibility curve as drawn here in which x1 which is consumer goods is greater than what x2 that means capital goods in a country like india uh, the consumer goods and the capital goods shows a mutually balanced ratio in ppc curve so that's about it and that's what i said here then developing countries like india for example may have may like to focus on capital goods while the developed countries like usa may go for consumer goods so ppc can illustrate the second major problem of the economy that is how to produce okay assuming that x1 is a labor intensive product and x2 is a capital intensive products so 
a company has to decide choose between which type of products they want to produce if they produce x1 that will be that will consume more labor hours labor times more labor more number of labors but if they produce x2 that will be cons that product have to be produced in expense of more capital of the company so in that scenario the ppc curve shows the balance between two commodity in accordance with the resources they have at hand okay they can go for a capital intensive product or a label labor intensive product so ppc can illustrate also what they can also illustrate how to produce a product okay third central problem is for whom to produce so a product uh, which is produced they have to be it has to be utilized by someone right so the third center problem is whom to produce the product for so the the matter here in discussion is problem of distribution okay ppc can be used to illustrate this but not directly anyway but we'll talk about that more in detail in uh, coming topics but the is one point you need to know right now the more unequal the distribution is the more unequal the distribution gets the greater will be the share of luxury consumption this is a common fact that we know uh, as the distribution becomes more unequal uh, the un unwanted products that means highly costly products consumption is very higher so this cover this covers about somewhat some everything uh, about the introduction of ppc and the problems of choice in detail so we'll talk about more topics in the coming videos okay thank you for joining in